tell you next are, are really the cornerstones of what I do and the four things that I learned that my workshop creates. And the first thing that it creates is that it creates for the leaders the idea that they make a difference. So before I explained what I use the P&L for and who the readers were and what their forecast meant, they had no idea what impact they had. They had no idea that their numbers actually go to the owners, their numbers go to the president of the company, their numbers go to every single stakeholder, they go to the executive committee, they had no idea. I mean, I thought it was pretty obvious, but they didn't know. But for leaders and for people, any person, to know that they make a difference and they have an impact in this world, that's priceless. People need to know uh, that. And once you show them that, they get in the game. They want to do this, especially when you make it safe and accessible. The second thing I learned is that there is an immediate and measurable return on investment for this work. So as the director of finance, I would always ask the people in my hotels, especially the HR directors that would come to me with purchase orders for training, I would say, when am I going to get my money back? They could never give me an answer. They would always say, well, training's good. We need to do training, right? I mean, everybody loves training. We have to do training. But where's the return on investment? How do you measure it? Nobody could ever tell me. But with this training, you can. And then the third thing that uh, I learned is that the numbers are tricky. The numbers are a tricky thing because uh, we seem to think that they're really tough and it's really mysterious. And these numbers have power because it's money. But when you get a room full of leaders in your hotel together to spend the day discussing how the P&L works and how we do things in maintenance versus how we do things in sales versus how we do things in the kitchen, all of that melts away. Because as all of you know, it's not difficult. You've all crossed over that bridge where you were, were once not understanding the P&L, crossing the bridge to understanding, you go, well, this isn't really that tough. And quite honestly, if you can do a grocery list and go to the grocery store and come back with your groceries, you can, do, you can budget and forecast your expenses. And if you can do your schedule, you can budget and forecast your labor. It's that simple. But because it's money, money has power, and because we make it negative sometimes in our hotels, there's a lot of pressure to make our numbers. People get scared and they get tuned out. They don't want to be associated with these numbers. But when we get people in a room, all of this disappears. And then the fourth thing that I learned is that I had been doing things wrong for the first 20 years of my career. I had things completely backwards. And what I learned was by serving those leaders in my workshop and by teaching them and educating them, they were more than willing to serve me back and give me the forecast and do their part. And there's a saying that goes like this. If serving is beneath you, then leadership is beyond you. And that's what I learned that day, that if I want someone to do something for me, I need to serve them. And that's what I want to tell all of you today in your hotels. If you want people to, as Pinball would say yesterday, to like really get in, into it and really be determined, then you need to serve them. And it's a whole lot more fun too. So having that kind of leadership for the next 10 years of my career was a really a game changer. And that's really a significant thing that I learned from this work.